over here in the bottom left starting location in the blue. KT Roaster Flash. And in the upper right, we have Genair Green Wings Maru. Okie dokie. See what these guys go for here. This is the uh, shorter spawn distances. Of course, it is locked in like this. This could actually make for a cool TV team. Yeah, maybe. A map like this where they're spread out. I need to see so many more games on uh, this map to really figure this out a bit better. Waystation is such a weird map. I'm glad they're introducing weird maps like this too. I think it really helps to make for yeah. some uh, dynamic, exciting games. It's like a Swiss Army Knife map. No, you know what it is? It is what it is. This map is a spork. Oh my god. Because, like, the thing is, when you use a spork, because I have a spork and I use it a lot, <laughs> it's not really too like, effective as either a fork or a spoon. Not as effective as either one would be if it was a fork or a spoon. No. Uh, and also, a well. lot of the time, you're just, like, out of forks and you use it as a fork. Or I have, you're out of I have, spoons and you use it as a spoon. I, I have one spork in my house, and that's the last one that goes before I have to do the dishes. Yeah, that's that's how a spork generally is. Uh, like in the morning, I will use it to if I'm having a yogurt and an egg, then I'll use it. Look at you, that's but really smart. The thing is, it like has yogurt on it, so I have to really suck it off before yeah, I. Yeah, you gotta like home, put your yeah, own mouth on that thing. Yeah, yeah, before I before I skewer my eggs because I don't actually want them to mix. So, uh, you know, this map is much like a spork, just like that. It's a great analogy. Thanks. It's like, you know, I really feel like this map is like a bread knife. <laughs> bread knife? It's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> oh, man. Do you, in your house, do you have like an assortment of different like cooking knives? Or, yeah. I got these. I've not. I'm like, well, this is a knife I would use to cut fruit oh, with. But then when it actually comes time for me to like attack. cut bread or fruit, I'm like, uh. Well, I just use whatever, but Terry Yeah, I, I was going to say, I just use whatever. I use the giant steak knife for everything. I use the big Peanut one, butter yeah. my toast with it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got a quick expand here for Flash. Cut my hair with it. <laughs> File my nails, shave my face. Yeah, shave my shave face, my face my with a steak this. knife. <laughs> <laughs> one day I'm going to come in here bed. without a face on. <laughs> Look, yeah, I slipped. All right, so same type of scouting going on here. Flash going to chase away that SCV. Going for this uh, quicker command center than is Maru. Yeah, we got a Reaper parked right out here. Hmm. Looks like to intercept anything that would come from behind. Yeah, Maru uh, going right into uh, some Hellions here, getting that, that starport up as well. I like that Maru's open up with these aggressive builds, you know. Uh, when Maru finally got recognized as like the best tier in the world, I think, uh, if I recall correctly, it was him versus Innovation, and he just did like a bunch of cheeses, and everyone was like, "Whoa, Innovation's the best! I can't believe you did this!" But then he like ended up playing a bunch of macro games in the finals against Rain and won. So it was like, yeah. "Oh, okay." He just sometimes knows against certain players, cheese, it's yeah. really smart to open up aggressively, and Flash seems to be one of those players here. And it's not like this is even really a cheese, you know? This no, build this is, is just aggression. This is just yeah. uh, pressure. We'll see if he goes into uh, an expand, but I would not be surprised. Nice job here using that heli to tank that damage. Oh my God! Can you make can you make this guy look any more uh, you know inadequate in comparison, man? The control is so good here. Yeah, it's a really nice opener. And again, he does reduce that marine count so that his uh, banshee mm -hmm. is going to be a little bit more effective. And as we saw last game, his banshees definitely were more effective than flashes. We do have Widow Mines already on the way. I think uh, Flash is being pretty careful here. You might want to, you know, it's it's almost like random where the Banshees pop in. You got to, it's like a mind game as to where to put those Widow Mines to try yeah. to catch them. Yeah. But if you can catch it, that's pretty awesome. Okay, or even well make now, a cloak further out is nice. Flash is getting in here and... Uh, Ooh, he saves his Hellion. Yeah, that was nicely done. He's going to have to repair that. Uh, and Amaru's Banshee is going to go move out here, and you're absolutely right about the mind game. Yeah, where do you exactly want to put this? It just depends uh -huh. on that on each player, if you have the chance to study their play style. Uh, good players are going to mix up even where they come in with the Banshee. Absolutely, because you know Widow Mines could be there. And in fact, I'm not surprised to see this at all. He's sending the Widow Mines way far out. 
Uh, one of them looks like it's actually maybe running around. Oh uh, my god. Like, look at that. Fantastic Widow Mine. Cloaks what? in time. But you know what? He forces him to cloak out there, so that's some extra cloak time. You don't want to cloak until a Viking comes up. All right, now doing uh, some damage over here. Already taking out one SCB. Oh. Uh, Got a little bit too greedy, perhaps, with that. Banshee's still out and about, uh, but a nice scan here will allow that Mikey to take the Banshee out. Alright, so uh, not as effective yet here for Mario's Banshees. Does get the Widow Mine. There it is. Using that splash damage. Yep. Good moves there. Not Left wanting to use a scan. Hole. Rather have two very red Marines. And Mario now going to go for that infantry play here with the Siege Tanks. Yep. Uh, the oldest, I guess not the oldest TBT strat we saw here. We guys saw Submarine Marauder and Medivac used a little bit earlier. Mm -hmm. Four Marine Siege Tank was used, but this is a very good uh, standard opener, uh, TVT. You you really want to win. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, I think we're having... That's definitely your cords that yeah, cause that noise. Yeah, there's something wrong with the headset Stop I'm Stop moving around. <laughs> <laughs> Sit still. So it says stay still. Um, uh, okay, so anyways, uh, before we had the distraction, um, yeah, Marine Siege Tank, you're going to use that to get uh, some control here on positioning early mm -hmm. on uh, and try to really hurt them before they have the, the, the more pronounced number of siege yeah. tanks. Well look, this is actually like the same game from Maru as game one, but Flash has changed up things just enough that he's completely fine the entire time, right? He's He got his Widow Mines out a little bit further. He got his turrets up in time. Yep. Uh, he stopped the Banshees pretty much dead in their tracks. Now here this came. Turret at the front, siege tank, bunker, bam. You're never going to break through there with this little tiny army. And, and uh, Maru knows it and has to back up. So Flash is doing a much better job this game. And this means Flash should be in better shape later on um, in this series, uh, or in this game at least, because now he's, he's going to be able to get to where he wanted yeah. to get so he could actually mm. show us what he wanted to do. Well, it looks like he's not going to go for mech on this map, uh, which actually, you know what? It, that's fine. It's uh, we're kind of in these close spots. It seems like you know the map is so long that mech may be a little bit harder to use here. So it looks like it's going to be probably just a uh, bio tank versus bio tank coming up. Let's see who's better at that. Banshee's now regrouping over here. And um, you know I'm curious with these two uh, uh, unit comps here, how this does play out on this weird map where you have a, a mm. large berth in the upper left and a large berth in the bottom right. Yeah, I haven't really you know, seen... Uh, we've never really casted a TVT here. On, on, in these spots. You and I don't get to cast many TVTs nowadays. Not, last not season, the first, Code S, man. the first season of Code S ever to not have a TVT last season. Only three Terrans last season of Code yeah. S. Well, this season we have four. It's probably going to be mostly TVTs at the end. <laughs> <laughs> Top four turns. It's like, oh, oh my god, he sealed it up. He's done. Now nah, he's gonna restart. That's too bad. Yeah. He's like uh, the guy that pushes the boulder up the. Myth of Sisyphus the robot. That's the Sisyphus robot. He fixes that all map long. All map, yeah. Right when I'm done fixing it, it breaks yeah. again. And then as soon as someone queues up another ladder game, he's back at it. Yep. It's like, oh my god. <laughs> this guy's never gonna look over here. He's spreading creep. Why would he look over here? Why do I have to do this? Because, Robot, you're in Robot Hell. Alright, so, Flash moving out right now. Uh, and he's going to be able to uh, possibly engage here. It looks like neither player with the scan not getting all the army is not entirely sure. Well, can I actually win this engagement? They are pretty even in supplies here. Mm. Very similar armies. Flash has a few more tanks right now, a few more Marines for Maru, kind and of what you would expect from these guys. I think this is the best move here from Flash, was to just take yeah. another expansion and turn around. Maru already has a third command center, though. So, you know, his economy is looking just fine, and he can land that anytime. In fact, he just lifted it off. So, he is going to be mining from his third base before Flash, and uh, will continue to have an SCV lead. Well, unless unless this Banshee really gets a lot of work done. Which it looks like these guys are. Wow, look at this. This actually, this could be a little bit of a game changer. Yeah, he's doing a lot of damage here to these workers. Uh, meanwhile, the main not even mining. A scan that wipes out that one Banshee, but heads the damage already been done. Uh, denying this armory from getting finished up. Now going down into the barracks. And the scan. Is he going to be able to get this, rid of this Banshee? Nope, the Banshee should be able to get out. Uh, but the second scan changes that story entirely. Well, the uh, Banshees, they did all right. 
Uh, you know, Flash does have that SCV lead, which is quite nice. Maru moving across the map. He wants some revenge for all his lost SCVs. But with this Siege Tank count, I don't think revenge is going to be had. Yeah, when you get a Siege Tank count as high as what Flash has, it's really hard to actually get in there. Eight Siege Tanks against four, it's like... He, Maru only has four more Marines as well. It's just not... You know, the Siege Tanks are the more important part, generally speaking, especially when you have a high supply. Lower uh, supplies do mean that the Marines can overwhelm the Siege Tanks, but... It also matters if the Siege Tanks are in Siege Mode or not. Oh, yeah. You catch them in the middle of Siege, siege mode, mode, you sim right in there, and that's going to be it. Yeah, I remember some old Nauta vs. Marine King games where Nauta's like, Hey, Siege Tanks out, not in Siege Mode, can beat Marines. Nope. Turns out they can't. <laughs> yeah, not so much. Now, with the Siege Tanks in Siege Mode here outside the third for Flash, Maro actually could just drop over here into the main. Um, and you know what? He could end up really damaging the production here for Flash. Oh, that's right. In fact, an eBay right there, definitely an important building. Uh, could cost him that upgrade. Here we go. Actually, Flash dropping in his main base at the same time, but that is only Marines. Definitely a lot easier to clean up than this. Oh, my God. Now, cutting down these Siege Tanks, absolutely beautiful. Uh, meanwhile, Flash doing a lot of damage of his own here in the main. Uh, Mono's having to pick up his third base now. This is becoming a bit chaotic. It is, but this is going a lot better for Maru, I would say, Tasteless. This drop in Flash's main is something that is so hard to deal with. Well, you know what? As I say that, this drop that's not nearly as hard to deal with is dealing it's a doing ton a of lot damage, damage anyways. Yeah. <laughs> really is. Well, the rest of the tanks are up here now. I'm sure he's going to try to target down a few more of these tanks if he can. Mm. He gets a couple more of them uh, before his tanks do all go down. Wow, uh, serious blows traded here. I gotta say, Flash is gonna definitely be hurting a little bit more after all this. Uh, the worker count now for Flash, 26 to 42. Wow. And this is, that was just act one, Artos, as he's gonna come in here with more tanks again. Yeah. Headed down now, can Flash recuperate? He hasn't even cleaned up the initial attack over here yet. No, seriously, and his SCV count is just so diminished that even though he still has his third base sitting here, it, that doesn't really matter because he doesn't have enough SCVs to saturate, you know, two bases right now. So this is... Maru definitely got the better end of that. Very strong drop and in fact loading up another one. This could be the death blow, Tasteless. This could be um, Flash's last few moments in this game. Yeah. Um, you know, it's hard because he wants to resecure that third. He has to keep the second base in mind as well. Uh, and the main is it's a very large area. His one asset is the number of siege tanks he has. And siege tanks don't equal mobility, that's for sure. Mm. All right, well, he does drop off here outside of that third base. It's already been lifted up, though. Not too much to kill, just a few depots. Uh, not really that impactful at the moment. A scan here is we may see these two armies engage. Well, another medevac drop coming in from Flash. By the way, Maru has lifted up and gone to the island with his third command center. Kind of a cool place for him to go. A little bit out of the way for Flash to attack. Of course, if he does drop there, the odds of uh, Maru stopping it, very, very slim. Well, they move up now. Okay, so this drop easily taken care of here. Ball is now in uh, Maru's court. Remember, it is a two base versus two base here. Flash has even the supply gap a little bit. Their armies are actually uh, exactly even, while the workers supply, worker count here a little bit higher for Maru. Well, Maru continuing to try to get any damage done that he possibly can. Does have that uh, lead in overall SCVs, but the armies are pretty close in size. And once again, it's eight siege tanks to four, and the Marine counts are really similar. So uh, once again, Mar uh, Flash rather actually does have a strong army. It's just that his economy is lacking pretty far behind. Yeah, well said. We have another uh, drop coming up over here. Uh, Flash is trying to keep uh, Maru busy. That medevac and the Marines are taken out with ease, however. That's right. Scans doesn't know uh, exactly where that third is yet, it looks like. Hasn't seen that island. You know, I'm a little bit nervous for Flash here. Uh, you know, even though he has a really, really strong army, look at his mining. It's dropped so significantly, he really yeah. needs a third base. Oh, well, this might be one way to balance. Oh, my God. Just barely misses Can't it. Can't believe Flash didn't check there, by the way. Yeah. This goes to show you how new this map is for some of these players. Well, he might check it now. It's a possibility since he did fly away from the natural. Oh, my God. Thank your lucky stars, Maru. You didn't oh, take that refinery down there. Yeah, only Maru and that repairer robot know what's going on. 
or yeah. Flash. Looks like we're about to have level two upgrades here for Mario right as this drop begins. I oh, think this man. is it, Artos. That's, he can't clean the, that the up there. The number of depots that are going to be obliterated here. He's already supply blocked before I can even finish that last sentence. Yeah, and the supply differential is gigantic. It's getting bigger now. Flash is going to siege up his tanks. Could eventually push through this, but the amount of damage he takes in the meantime yeah. might just be too high. Right now, I love how he's picking up here the moment he says, I can't win too much more over here. Leaves these two tanks and a few brains here to keep his opponent busy. Well, he can drop over here at the second base if he sees that as a viable option. Mm, or just get out. You know, he has sure. a lot of medivacs, has a lot of marines. Look at the supply difference, Tasteless. He's up 40 army supply. He's got over 20 more SCVs. Mars winning in every single way. Um... I, you know, I'm trying to think of what Flash can really do to recover from this, and there's honestly not a lot he he can do, you know? Yeah. Maybe, like, I don't think there is a recovery. His economy is so shattered. There's I mean, really, Mario would have to, like, fly a bunch of medevacs full of his army and do turrets or Vikings or something and lose everything. And hold position them, because he has so many right now, they'd probably <laughs> a lot of them get away. He's got 16 medevac stasis. Oh man. Well, Maru's coming in, and uh, Flash, even with a great siege line, may not be able to hold this. And that's not a great siege line. Medivac escaping. Uh, there goes the command center. That's going to put him down on two command centers. Uh, he could even lose a lot of Marines here with only two of them hitting that siege tank. Uh, <laughs> in order to just get a better position over here. Well, uh, Flash holding tight, but... Look, he's got almost nothing left here. He's mining from three mineral patches. Really, come on. Flash. Come yeah, on, Flash. Not to mention, uh, Mario uh, did not drop as many mules over to second base, so he hasn't mined out most of that yet, so he still has a lot of more minerals that he can still mine from. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God, that was close. Mario's just completely fine. Flash is like... This is almost like this Stay Alive 30 Minutes mission for Flash right now. <laughs> like, that's the best he can hope for. All right, unloading down. Now you can see she's up down here, and then this next attack over here in the front should kill Flash off. And this is going to be a 2-0 victory here for Maru. Yeah, for sure it is. The game is over. We're just waiting for Flash to realize. I guess that's nice. <laughs> yeah, I guess that does damage the tanks a little bit. That yeah. would be one step in the right direction, although not one that would probably close this game out. The other attack comes in here, and this is where we should see GG triggered, as there's no way for him to recuperate. Yeah, definitely a strong play there out of Maru, showing that he is the best Terran in the world. Flash, he really is. Not really that close to Maru yet, to be honest. No, uh, I mean, really, Maru actually, really different quite leads. good. Yeah, like, uh, Flash was dismantled pretty easily there by Maru. Nicely done, Maru. Uh, we're going to take a short break before we go to our next best of three.